Welcome, folks, to outer space. So space is always one of those things that, you know, just kind of is mysterious and captivates us. And the more we know, the more interested we are to know more. And it's crazy because we can't know everything. And as humans, we strive to know as much as possible. Um, so space is just one of those like giant mysteries. Although, do you know that we actually know more about outer space than we do the deepest parts of our own ocean here on our planet? That blows my mind. Um, and makes me not want to go into crazy deep ocean. Just saying. Um, so anyway, welcome to the space board this week. There are some really fun things to find here. We've got some outer space yoga. We've got some how to draw stuff. But we also have some really cool websites linked um, that I want to show you. So the first one is linked to this satellite that's floating around. And the satellite links you to story time from space. So actual real live astronauts read stories from outer space. Um, they live stream them and the live stream is recorded and then they post them here to the website. So you can come down the next, well, the last live reading was postponed. It was supposed to be 918. So if you check here, it will let you know when the next live reading is supposed to be. And then you can scroll down and you can find all of the book readings from space. So, and if you click into it, like literally they're in outer space, they're here flo floating around. They'll show you new spots in the, in their space, um, International Space Center. Sorry, come up here. Uh, Storytime videos. Here's where you can find a whole bunch. Now they also do experiments in outer space. Um, and there are other things that you can mess around with on this website, but these are the two coolest to me, the experiments in outer space and the the books just being read to you by astronauts literally floating in space. And they do a good job of sometimes when you are watching someone do a read aloud and you don't see the pictures or the page very well, it's not as interesting to watch, but they do a great job of showing you the astronaut floating and the book itself, the pictures. So this is a really cool website that I hope you guys enjoy. Um, some of my friends got confused when I, I have people test out my boards um, before I post them online for you guys, they got confused and they thought these swirly little galaxy stars, there's three of them, were clickable links. They are not clickable. They are part of the backdrop. Um, everything else on here is clickable, except for this comment. This comment linked to something and now it's not linking there anymore. And I can't remember what it linked to, so I give up. <laughs> so the comment is just a pretty picture on there. Not part of the background, but it's not linking to anything. Um, the Mars links you to some coding games. They're like kind of like beginner coders, but they're not the easiest. You have to, they're problem solving in the sense that you have to figure out what to do in order to make the games flow correctly. And they're really cool. I hope you enjoy those. Um, is that right? Is that right? There's something that I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, this is the, the formal International Space Station website. Whenever I link a website like this, guys, um, I want you to mess around, like click around on this website, find different things. I would never link a website that I hadn't done the same thing on. Um, so please click around, find fun stuff. But right here, the International Space Station on Ustream, this is their live stream. And they'll tell you that um, it's always facing towards Earth. Sometimes you will see black and that is when, what is it? It tells you. Audio conversations with the crew. The video is only available when the space station is in contact with the ground. During loss of signal periods, you'll see a blue screen. Um, but a black screen, guys, when the station is in darkness, external camera video may appear black. But sometimes you can see really pretty views of lighting below. So sometimes it's black um, screen. And I had this on one Wednesday during um, seminar day. And we just had it on all day. And sometimes we'd be like, look, there's the earth. Or you'd see out of the window and you'd be like, look at the cool view of this. And sometimes it would be completely black. Um, and we're like, why is it black? It's so light outside. But the space station rotates the Earth pretty quickly. Um, so they get on the dark side of the Earth fast. And then they, if they don't have any light visible on that side of the space station, there's there's not light. They're in space. So let's see what it looks like right now. Take a second to pull up. Oh, it looks like a almost like a sunrise or something. I haven't seen this kind of color. Anyway, it's live, but it's also recording at the same time. Um, yeah, that's not complete black. That's got like some like sheen to it. I wonder if we're, seeing, we're about to see a sunrise. This could be pretty cool. I can't sit here and, though, and watch this and record for you the whole time <laughs> because that would become a dull. Oh, you know what? No, it's just the shadow of my, the way my screen is shadowed because if I look straight on at it, 
there's no color. It's just black. So I think this is one of those times when you can't really see much color. I'm going to leave it just going and we'll clip back to it in a second. That one's a really fun one to just kind of leave on and watch. Um, Saturn. I wanted to talk to you about Saturn. Saturn is a crazy cool website. It is like, um, so when I was growing up, you always had to make like a model of the solar system. And this is an online model, but it doesn't stop at the solar system. It does the entire galaxy. So if you do the... I look. For more than 20 years now, but we have accomplished a lot, as you saw there. And one of the key people who have been working um, to help make a lot of that possible is Jennifer Buckley, who's the deputy chief space station scientist. Thanks so much for joining us, Jennifer. Seems like a little bit of an understatement to say that uh, that space station is a laboratory like no other. But I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about what makes it special. I don't know. Obviously, Jennifer is not responding. That's new. I haven't heard them talking before. I'm actually going to turn that off as cool as it is. All right. We're to our solar system model. So the solar system model, guys, you can click in. Is it okay? You can click in and you can zoom. Why is this not working for me? I feel like this is locked up. So I should be, what I'm doing right now should be moving my solar system around. It says starting. So it's kind of locked up. But you can zoom in and you can zoom out. You can explore. And it's, there we go. Alrighty. So I can, here's my zoom. Oh, you can't see it because of where my screen is. Let me scoot you over. Here's my zoom. It zooms you in and out. Watch how far out I can go. Shh. Our sun is that tiny. And you're, you can go out to where you can see other galaxies. Oh! Isn't that cool? I mean, I can't even, like, my, my brain can't even fathom this. Okay, maybe I said other galaxies. You really just see our galaxy, but you can see other, like, systems in our galaxy. And then you can zoom back in. Now, if you're on a tablet, I have played this on a tablet, and I've gotten lost. Let's turn the music off. I've gotten lost, so I've had to X out and come back in because, like, I get to click into something and I can't find my way out of it because I'm so far out in. But I want to show you something really quick. Okay, I'm going to click on the sun. When you click on something, you can explore it. You can visit it. You can look at the cyclopedia about it. You can look at it, the night sky from it. You can rotate it. And so do you see the night sky, all of the constellations around it? I just find this crazy interesting, and you can do this with every planet and different system that has been explored within our solar system. And I, when I say explored, I mean like explored through our technology, not necessarily in real life. I love this one. This is my favorite link. I could spend hours just messing around on that. Okay. There are other things to explore and do and have fun with, but I'm not going to tell you everything on the boards because, hey, that ruins part of the fun. I hope you enjoy spending time in outer space today and um, I will see you again soon. Bye guys.